Some quick freestyle tips for your defensive stance if you're a basketball player. A lot of times I see people set up for, the, for defense like this. Ultra wide, feet are kind of pointing out, and worst of all, their weight is on their heels. Your heels should have no part of your defensive stance. When you're on defense, what do you want? You want responsiveness. You want to be able to respond quickly to what's coming at you. This is not as responsive as this. Tighten it up a bit. Connectivity in your body, your platform, your feet should be in a stronger position. This is a weaker position. If I go to push off from my heels like this, I'm gonna start pushing off the inside of my foot. And that is not only slower, but it's also the mechanism for knee injuries, specifically ACL tears, which is a serious problem in basketball. So you wanna be light on your feet, out of your heels, and in the responsive part of your feet, so on the balls of your feet. The width is gonna depend on your individual proportions and your comfort. I would say the narrower, the better, okay? So you're not gonna force being too narrow. You need to be a little bit um, outside of your shoulders or outside of your hips. You create the option to go either way, but you don't wanna to be too wide. The most important thing is to be on the balls of your feet. Practice this drill of just standing and then dropping into a defensive stance. And when you drop, you should feel like your ankle like stiffens up, your foot and your ankle stiffen up to create a strong platform. You shouldn't feel like you drop onto your heels at all. As you drop, your heels should come up and they should stay up. Another thing is, even though you're playing defense and you're typically moving like backwards, you wanna be in an orientation to go forward because if you need to lunge for the steal, if, you, if there's a loose ball and you wanna go for it, you, you wanna be in a drive forward kind of orientation, even though you're in a defensive stance. You don't want to go into this kind of a stance. You always want to be like this because you're much quicker and more responsive like that. Last thing I want to say is one thing that's contributing to players getting on their heels more, which is not the position you want to be in, is a lot of stuff they're doing in the weight room and training. So get out of your heels when you're training, when you're strength training. Stop doing back squats, stop doing deadlifts, kettlebell swings, and any kind of strength training activities where you're basically training yourself to be on your heels. Sports are played on the balls of your feet. Like this video, subscribe, and join our weekly email list. I send out a lot of quick tips about athleticism every Wednesday, so get on that list to receive those emails. The videos that we send out in that email list are exclusive to that email list. They won't be posted on YouTube, so make sure you subscribe to that list right now if you want to receive them. Stay light on your feet.